as a logical extension of helping with health-related issues, an equally important part of the Community Uplift program focuses on education. While carrying out their mission, SCI's Gene Rurka and the local FCF crew are bringing valuable equipment and supplies to key primary and secondary schools in the targeted regions. One of their first stops is the Malagarasi Secondary School, where the team has come to deliver a variety of needed tools and supplies. Some are recreational in nature, like soccer balls and other sports equipment, though these items too will play a positive role in fostering physical fitness. At the same time, the team also focuses on developing the young minds here through the donation of microscopes, as well as simpler yet necessary supplies such as pencils. As Jean Rucka explains, the educational impacts created here are only part of a much bigger picture. And it's, it's not just coming in and leaving something and say thank you, we're on our way. It's to leave a continuous line of communication to continue to help them with education. Once you get the health up, then the education certainly could be forthcoming. So we don't want to come in here and just do one thing and leave. This might be an excellent opportunity to show them through the use of the microscopes we're going to put in today that there are other issues with water, with health, with nutrition, and therefore promote it through the educational process. It's, it's no one facet. It's a very multifaceted concept we have to promote here. Additionally, the team consults with school officials on various ways to help improve their operations, such as using more fuel-efficient wood-burning stoves. In keeping with their credo, the team places a high priority on helping these communities make the best use of their available resources. The team's effort with the local schools here mark an important beginning. More can and will be done, but the significant first steps have been taken lifeline connections formed, and long-term, mutually beneficial relationships forged. Through a successful and highly effective collaboration between the Safari Club International Foundation and the Friedkin Conservation Fund, impoverished African communities are being transformed for the betterment of all involved. Here in Tanzania, the humanitarian efforts of SCIF are just the beginning but they provide a real-world example of what can be accomplished when caring people work together to help those in need. And the benefits here are actually on both sides, because when communities like this become stronger, positive effects carry over to all who come to this place. Wildlife conservation efforts are strengthened. Protected areas are continually kept safe from harm. Tourism thrives and an ethical hunting community continues to do its part in helping nature's balance. There are many voices to be heard in this ongoing story, and with a common vision, these voices create a harmony, one that will resonate into the future and make this place even better. A place we call Africa.